Hello YouTube and welcome to the 10th video in this Swindon Town Let's Play series. Today I'm going to be running you through both the Crew game and the Millwall game. Um, I can only apologise again for not having an introduction to this video. I do want to make that a regular thing. Uh, I may be dropping the kind of trivial information about the club's past and perhaps their last season performance seeing as it's technically this season in the Football Manager game and it doesn't really have much effect on it. Um, but it always is interesting before the game to know what the opponent's strengths and weaknesses are. Um, and I thought it would just be more interesting than just you know going through with you guys and, and looking uh, at, the, at the club's previous performances and things like that. I thought, you know, I would dress it up and make it look nice because um, no, I enjoy doing stuff like that. You know, I enjoy uh, editing and stuff on Sony Vegas. Um, if any of you have checked out my old account, when I was about 13 or 14, um, as most people do uh, who spend their time on the internet, um, I managed to get myself a free copy of Sony Vegas uh, and spent a quite considerable amount of time making RuneScape tutorials. So, uh, for someone of that age, I personally thought they were quite good. They only got like a thousand views each, but you know, at the end of the day, they were they were decent videos. Uh, but moving on. Um, the one bit of bad news here is uh, obviously Simon Ferry is out for um, a long amount of time. I'm going to say it's a long amount of time because he is a very useful player. Um, he is key to our, our team basically. Uh, although he doesn't tend to score many goals, um, being out for about a month really does not help the squad because we already have a problem with... Um, centre midfielders and I'm feeling that I'm going to have to put Gregory in his place and if Gregory doesn't perform then you know that can really really have a poor effect on the team um, but for the rest of the news I'm going to have to say I'm absolutely delighted with how this gone as how this has gone uh, especially with the reports about, about Wagstaff um, it's um, brilliant to know that in the last game I brought Gregory on and he did a job and now Wagstaff is doing a job as well um, I'd say we did set out a little bit more defensively against Crew. We weren't so completely attacking, but that was probably because we didn't get the opportunities to be completely attacking. Uh, obviously, Crew didn't have a player sent off. Um, we had to be a bit more organised, I suppose. Uh, it's disappointing again to concede a goal. Um, I have brought Fodringham on uh, in the place of Lanzano, uh, just because I, I generally have more confidence in him. Um, and I want him to develop as a player. Uh, as you can see there, he got a 6.9 rating. So again, that's about the same as Lanzano got in the first game. Uh, so it's not a disappointing performance. Uh, had he kept a clean sheet, I'm, I'm sure it would have been a lot higher than that. So at the end of the day, I thought he was quite good. But I'm definitely happy with Wagstaff. Um, I don't think he grabbed the man of the match. I'm not entirely sure, did he? Uh, I, I think he scored. Yeah, he scored two goals, and as I was saying in the previous video, uh, this is another thing that I want him to be doing uh, during during the season. Uh, if we look into his if we look into his attributes, if they want to load for us today, um, this game has been pretty slow because I don't actually tend to close Football Manager down uh, when I leave it. I just tend to leave it on, uh, occasionally save it, uh, which for some reason tends to slow it all down but as you can see there his finishing is 13 um, as well as that I think for anybody to consistently score goals they have to have a decent technique and as you can see there 9 perhaps isn't the best um, but at the end of the day 13 finishing from a, a right midfielder is uh, is always useful um, and it's the kind of stats that you want to see on Matt Ritchie as well because um, I can see him popping up with a few goals this season uh, again, possession, that's the kind of game that we wanted to play. Uh, if we go into the match report, I think, just want to look at the statistics here. Yeah, we had 57% possession, 10 shots on target to 7, uh, sorry, 6 shots on target to 1, uh, and 10 shots to 7. Uh, fouls are about the same, which um, I'm not too concerned about, uh, only that I think I've been looking at Lanzani's, no, Picaretta's feedback during the matches uh, and he's been saying that our tackling is poor so uh, I do want to improve on that perhaps in training. Um, I think that it may be a problem with my defensive line setting up the pitch a bit too far uh, as they can't get back and they have to make those desperate tackles or 
they're afraid to put the tackles in uh, because they know that if they're beaten, then they're never going to, uh, you know, get back. Uh, so I may have to change that tactically. I have already moved things around defensively, uh, but I may have to do that again. I'm uh, just going to go into the press conference here. I'll um. How significant a blow will the loss of Ferry be to your ambitions inside? Uh, yeah. After today's fine performance, will you be looking to tie Scott Wagstaff to the club to, on a more permanent basis? Um, as much as I would like to, I know Scott sees his future on a higher level than this. Uh, I'm just going to say I would not discuss individuals currently. Uh, they, they tend to ask questions like this. The public want to hear a proper answer from you. Again, I can't say anything at the moment. Um, Paul Downing. Ah, this could be a bit of interesting news here. Uh, we were offered Paul Downing, Defender Centre, only 19, uh, value 325k and only on £650 a week. We were offered him by the West Brom Reserves for free. He could join our club and be on those kind of wages for free. Right? That is, that is a godsend and I am looking to bring him on into the team as soon as possible. I don't know if he's going to have a first team role in the first season. Uh, but as you can see there, pace is brilliant. Uh, agility, acceleration is brilliant for a League 2 team. What I've needed for a long time, actually, is a proper partner to um, Balotoni. Uh, my only worry is that Risa does need to play some sort of role defensively because he is such a leader in that position. Um, I also have to check that I'm not running over eight minutes in my commentaries now. I'm going to have to cut and paste them together. So if my uh, voice sounds a bit jerky towards the eight minute mark in each of the videos, then I'm basically uh, pasting two clips together because the email that I'm sending to my account has to be eight minutes or less. Uh, but this player could definitely provide a role in covering uh, for my defence. His marking is brilliant, his tackling is brilliant, his heading is brilliant. I just can't see anything wrong with this player. Uh, obviously a few poor red stats, I know. Uh, technique perhaps is quite poor. Uh, off the ball is quite poor. Strength, definitely poor. Uh, and in a centre back, I suppose that is important. But in the cover position, not so much. They're, you know, they're the last ditch uh, kind of tackle player. Uh, if they make a wrong tackle, then I suppose they'd be sent off. So having less strength there might reduce the uh, the impact. But yes, there is definitely some interest from our side. Can we do a deal? It's too soon to say. Uh, so we will just go back and have a look if we can at the uh, and I'm sure you've worked out the result already now we uh, we got walloped by Millwall 4-0 um, I don't think I'm going to go through the um, through the proceedings today uh, it was a very poor performance but to be fair I think they beat us tactically um, we didn't have a response to them whatsoever uh, initially I thought we were doing well uh, they did say during the game, you know, you don't have to change the way you play. Uh, we're going to get a goal back, but we went further uh, backwards in result. In the result, um, we actually got more possession than Millwall, so I suppose that's a positive. They're a championship team. We got more possession, uh, but in terms of shots, I think Millwall had about three or four times as many shots as us during the match. Uh, so we have to create a tactic if we are going to play, say, a League One team in. Um, the Johnson's Paint Trophy. We have to create a more uh, defensive, uh, counter-attacking tactic uh, to work against a better team. Um, but that's all I have to update you guys on at the moment. Uh, again, I think I will be working on uh, an introduction to the next video that I make, which will be the game against Morecambe. Uh, it's only two games or two days away on the actual game, uh, so I will be working on that over the weekend. Obviously. Uh, tomorrow I'm going to be releasing my next video, my Saturday video uh, for FIFA trading, working my way up to a Wayne Rooney card. Um, I'd say in terms of how many coins I've got at the moment, I am a good amount of the way there now. Uh, so it's not going to be too long since uh, till I am going to be giving that Rooney out. Um, I don't want to be making you know endless trading videos because you've seen other channels that do that and you don't really learn much from each of the videos. You know, I want one technique in each video. Uh, perhaps an interesting tip on top of that, but I don't want uh, a bucket load of information every time and you've got to filter out yourself because uh, that really just isn't the point of the videos. So um, yeah, uh, thanks for all the feedback on the previous videos. It is really appreciated. As I said before, 
whenever you leave a like, a favourite, a comment, especially a subscription, you really are helping out a small channel such as mine. So uh, if I could beg a little more, uh, that would really be appreciated. So I've been Ayoki Sum, and thank you for watching this video.